an old tradition and a fine celebration of youth, talent, and glory. The Yule Ball is a formal Christmas celebration which is held for students of different schools that participate in the Triwizard Tournament, a tradition that poses the opportunity to socialize with foreign guests. The host school is usually responsible for the organization of the event. It is their task to make sure that everything is managed to the highest standards. That includes some intricate and awe-inspiring decorations, fine dining that is normally taken care of by elves, and of course all students must prepare for the most important part of the ball the dance, which in itself poses another challenge – to find a date to dance with. When all preparations are complete and the time comes for the Christmas Day, all students of fourth year and up dress in their ceremonial attires and gather in the Great Hall for the start of the ceremony. It all begins with a choreographed dance, led by champions of the tournament and their partners, and as the music continues, everyone is welcome to join in. Then once the official part is complete, the party shifts to another level that includes some band performances, drinks, and the ball turns into a full-blown party. In general, the Yule Ball is essentially a big fancy Christmas party that gives a chance to students and teachers to have fun, fall in love, and have their hearts broken, which is all an essential part of school experience. I mean, it most certainly was an emotional roller coaster for our trio. And I would love for us to have a chance to experience the Yule Ball in Hogwarts Legacy, which would work perfectly with the alleged Roman system in the game. And can we all just take a moment and agree that Hagrid and Madame Maxime were like the best couple of the night? The problem is that Yule Ball only happens during the Triwizard Tournament, and to the lore, the Triwizard Tournament was discontinued in the late 1700s and was only revived once in 1994 when Harry Potter took part in it, and then it got cancelled permanently. So that means no tournament, nor Yule Ball for Hogwarts Legacy. However, Porky Games, the developers of Hogwarts Mystery, found a perfect solution for this and they brought the Celestial Ball, which was brought as a limited event around Valentine's Day. Essentially, it was the Yule Ball, but with a different theme, which I think is perfect. And we don't necessarily have to have a tournament in order to have a ball. It could be just a Christmas Ball or the New Year's Ball. And an event like this could give so many different additional things to do in Hogwarts Legacy. You know, for this event, we could be doing different side quests, maybe we could volunteer for the decoration organization, like go out to capture and conjure some fairies to use in decorations, or help elves make food and brew drinks for the party. Also, we would have to somehow find a way to get the attire for the ball, because I don't know if we are going to be as rich as Harry in the game. Maybe if we won't have enough money for a fancy dress, then we would have to find a way to earn some money or find an old dress somewhere and be like Ron. Also, there would be the dance practice part. And I wonder if we would have a choice to not have a partner for the ball. What if we just stay single? Could we still come and hang out for the food and drinks? That's kind of a question for the whole game in general. Like, I know there's supposed to be romance in there, but can we just not pair up with anyone? Like, just be single entire game? But romance is a different topic for another video. But the other question is how it could be brought in Hogwarts Legacy. Meaning, is the ball going to be part of the story? Or is it going to be brought in by live service, just like in Hogwarts Mystery? Because if it's going to be only as a limited event, I see one issue with it. So let's say there is a New Year's Ball limited event. Then this event would only happen around December. But it doesn't mean it would be December in the game. In the game, we could be finishing the school year and about to pass the Owls. So it wouldn't make any sense for us to attend the New Year's Bowl during that time because Owls usually happen at the end of the school year. And this goes for all other possible limited seasonal slash holiday events. They all pose an issue that is specific to Hogwarts Legacy, simply because there's a school year. Like, if the New Year's Bowl is a part of the main story, or like it's within the game from the start, then there's no issue with that. We'll just get to that part as we progress through the story. But perhaps the solution for it to be as a live service limited event and for it to make sense within the game's timeframe is to have it also limited within the game as well. 
meaning you would only be able to experience the New Year's Ball event once you hit a certain part of the story in the game, and then you're going to be able to do the side quests, the missions, or whatever. Similarly how it is in Hogwarts Mystery. There, only students of the fifth year and above can take part in the Celestial Ball. So in Hogwarts Legacy, if you just finish the fifth year in the game, then you have to advance in the progress of the game until you get till December in order to partake in the Ball event. Or if you already graduated from Hogwarts, you'd have to start the game over in order to participate. I mean, this is sort of the point of life service games, is to add replayability. But you guys let me know in the comments how you think the ball can be brought in the game. In general, the Yule Ball was a, such a memorable event in Harry Potter, and it would be really awesome if we could have a chance to have a similar experience in Hogwarts Legacy. Also, if you have other events that you'd want to see in Hogwarts Legacy, let me know in the comments section and check my other videos that I made about Hogwarts Legacy that now appear on the top left and right of your screen. Alright, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.